Procrastination is an act everybody takes part in every day, regardless of their situation in life. In today's world of technology and internet, from young to old participates in procrastination. Lacus, 2015, explained that procrastination is the avoidance of doing a task that needs to be accomplished. However, many learners do not know their inability to, to read is a problem of postponing their time to study, but they are more engaged or pleasurable things in which they can benefit from. Moreover, the learners who study their books perform better than those who are not serious. So 2014. Welcome to episode 3 of Muffy School Talk Show. On this talk show, we'll be hashing out the dangers of procrastination in academic performance or social interaction. I am Rima Tebise, a full learner of Muffy School. Joining us on today's episode are Jackie Vai Pemplo, a true learner of Muffy School. My name is Zevan Jimde, a true learner of Muffy School. To my left, Ida Albo, a true learner of Muffy School. 14 and nothing. A yet to learn of Moffitt School. definition of procrastination. 14. Please tell us what the term procrastination means. Thank you, Runa. Procrastination is the act of putting off or delaying an action to a later time, usually by focusing on a less urgent or more enjoyable activities instead of, the, of an important task. It has been defined as self-regulatory failure still 2007. Thank you, 14. Zephyr, please give us some examples of academic procrastination. Thank you. A common example of academic procrastination is a learner who has a to study for an examination or test, but ends up postponing their studying time unnecessary night before examination or test. And another example of academic procrastination is a learner who delays working on an important project for an entire meeting bit until right before is due. In addition, a learner who wastes his hours browsing social media or watching television or playing computer games until finally gets started with some talk or assignment. That was a clear example of academic procrastination. Thank you, Zephyr, once again. Akiva, please tell us the effects of academic procrastination. Academic procrastination is associated with various negative effects such as worse academic performance, worse emotional well-being, mental and physical health as well. Thank you, Akiva. 14. Would you please throw more light on these effects mentioned by Akiva? Oh yes, Rona, I can. Worse academic performance, for example, associated with a wide range of academic issues, such as low examination scores, low quality work, and grades that leads to failure. Secondly, worse emotional well-being, for example, the feeling of guilt, shame, and sadness. Don't fool where you can do better. Thirdly and lastly, what's mental and physical health, for example, academic procrastination can lead to various mental health issues such as stress, lack of sleep, and exhaustion. These issues are interrelated. Thank you. Eden, please tell us the causes of academic procrastination. There are various common internal and external causes of academic procrastination. The internal causes include anxiety, fear of failure, perfectionism, task aversion, feeling overwhelmed, mental exhaustion, ignoring the value of time and lack of organization skills. In addition, various personal traits can also influence the engagement of academic procrastination. While the external causes include poor study environment, uninteresting assignments, 
Lack of clear directions or expectations. Lack of communication with your instructor or teacher. Lack of clear due date of assignment or product to be submitted. While the teacher and instructor being too lax or being too arch. This internal and external causes of academic procrastination and in turn affect performance. Thank you for that clarification. If I may ask Zephan, how well can you deal with academic procrastination? Thank you. Academic procrastination can be reduced by first analyzing the situation, knowing the learners in well and cause of their procrastination, and implement an appropriate solution. Learners should be enlightened about the term procrastination and identify when they engage in it. However, best ways to avoid academic procrastination are find ways to make study more enjoyable, self efficacy, believe in one's ability to perform the actions needed to achieve your goals and incentivize and reward progress, and identify and resolve your fears and anxiety. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your valid contributions and all know this. Procrastination is a prevalent problem that leads to varieties of issues, reduces your potentials and overall productivity. Until our next episode, goodbye for now. <laughs>